foundation. Gospel music. I've never heard anything like it. It was good and professional. But the spirit was in it. There was energy in it. But there was also a reverence for God. To this day, that tradition has continued. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the one and only Inspirations Quartet.
spines never lift him Unable to think His nerves are shattered And his hair is a gray
He reached the end of life's journey. He opened hold to God's hand a long time. As I knelt by his bed, my heart was thrilled at what he said.
It's good enough for me. At church we join the singing, and we make the rafters ring. And then some good old sister, oh, and shout and praise his name. And then one thing that's so clear to me, oh, that revival day. It's how my heart will be for joy when then we meet. Glory.
these three guys right here, me and Eddie and Troy and Mike, recorded that song in 1974. <laughs> unbelievable then, and it's still unbelievable today. Amen. The reason being is because of the touch of God that's on that song. It had nothing to do with the singers or who recorded it or what happened. It was all about Him. Amen. And that's the legacy of the inspiration. It never has mattered who was holding the microphone. It's what was in the heart of the singer. Friends, when that takes place, that's when God can get something done for His glory. Amen. For the rest of this year and the years to come, we want to continue to uphold the bloodstained banner and make sure that people know that God's still on the way. He's still in the saving business. Amen. Amen. Our brother Luke back there, he's the one, he's the master of ceremonies. As you can see, he's the one picking the songs. I don't know what he's got in his heart, but I guarantee you it's going to be good. Amen. Sure. Let me ask you, have you had a good time this week? Thank you to everybody that's came and had a wonderful week with us this week. And I want to say this on behalf of the inspiration. Thank you to the Templeton family for everything they've done to accommodate us. Amen. And for believing in the inspiration. Yeah, I think they deserve a better hand than that. Give them, give them a hand. Well, Luke, what do you got on your heart? I'm going to tell them everybody's name. Is that okay? Yeah. I don't ever get to do this, but I want to name them off here. One of the original inspirations. Started with him in 1964. Started going up to Martin's house with his uncle Walter and uh, his cousin Jack. Jack Longs. That's Mr. Archie Watkins. Thank you. And this fella here started coming up there. He was trying to sing lead, but his voice was changing. So they didn't let him sing lead. <laughs> and so when they made their first record, he was what, 13 years old? Yeah. <laughs> he became the original bass singer with inspirations. Then he sang lead for almost 30 years. That's Mr. Troy Lee Burns. Let me know. <laughs> when Ronnie Hutchins left, they hired this fellow to sing the lead part. And then he started singing baritone. He was from up in Silva, North Carolina, the old-time preacher man, Reverend Eddie Deets. Make him up. When the bass position came open in 1970, they hired a fellow from down in Alabama. Is anyone from Alabama here? Usually they do that, but wrong time, yeah. That's Mr. Marlon Schubert. Make him up. When Marlon left in 72, they found a fella in Jasper, Georgia. He stayed with them for 41 years. And we call him 6494. That's Mr. Mike Holton. In the 1990s, we needed a lead singer, and they found this fella. He's from down in Georgia. He pastors Calvary Baptist Church in Statham, Georgia. That's Mr. Matt Dabler. We got a lot of them from Georgia. Not long after he came along, this fellow came along, and he sang the baritone all through the 2000s. And I got to, he was in the group when I started. We had a lot of fun together. Mr. Melton Campbell. Make him like that. And when Melton left, they brought along a fellow from Tennessee, and we're sure proud. He sings with the current inspirations. That's Mr. Roland Kesterson. Make him like There was a time when Archie came off the road and was needing some help singing the tenor, and they found this fella. I don't know where you're from. Clemens, North Carolina. I got it. <laughs> this is Mr. Darren Osborne. Let them go. <laughs> and we've got more bass singers than we can count, but one of the best in the world over there. He sings with the current group. That's Mr. Wyatt Austin. here all 
all week and we failed to do something. My wife celebrated something. What day was it, White? Wednesday. Wednesday. White turned 11 years old. It is today Mike's birthday, too. And today is Mike's birthday, and Mike turned out. There I ask. This is a big one. Today I become biblical. Three score and ten. <laughs> Found me. We're sure proud of him. He's the newest member of the Inspiration. He's been with us for almost four years, Mr. Isaac Moore. Right there. Yeah. I want to say one thing, and I'll be brief. The, a lot of people want us to uh, have the singing in the Smokies again. Troy and his wife Tammy have planned it back for this summer, and uh, it's going to have four nights three nights during the 4th of July and uh, we're going to me and Troy and Eddie and Mike and Marlon, the older guys, are going to get together and try to write down actually what happened. <coughs> who started when, who sung, and, and uh, we're going to have that to give to you during the singing and the smoking. If you will come to Bryson City here the 4th of July 4th of July some of that we can't write down. <laughs> I, I want to say one thing that happened, and and we wrote a book. What year was that? 96, 97. We've been singing all those years, and Jack Laws was the original baritone singer. And back in the 60s, Eddie was singing lead and Troy was singing bass and Jack Laws we pulled a trick on him we fed him a pack of four inch square x -lacks. two layers so that was four by eight x lacks our chance one of the things we can't write down <laughs> Style, it's an experience, I understand. And then this young man over on the other end of the stage. We couldn't make it without this young man from Glasgow, Kentucky, one of the best piano players in the world. And thanks, Bill, Jeff Talbert from Jeff Talbert and Primitive Road helping us on the bass. Sing one of the old bear hunter songs. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm gonna sing. I cannot find a way along. <laughs> As I journey through this vale of sorrow, the way seems so strange and unknown. Lord, I need a helping hand.
serving the Lord through music. Thank you, fellas. God.